Hi, welcome back to Engineering Drawing. I am your Dr. Vasu. Hope you are enjoying the lectures on Engineering Drawing and other subjects on uploaded in YouTube. If you want to learn this and many more interesting topics, please do subscribe this channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Let, let's see the hyperbola construction. When the eccentricity is given, it is as 33 by 2 and the focus of focus is at a distance of 50 mm from the directrix are given. Because the eccentricity is greater than 1, we get a hyperbola, right? So, draw a horizontal line, call it as axis, draw a perpendicular line, call it as directrix, call it as AB and mark the intersection point here C and mark this 50 mm from C. So here this is the distance. At 50 mm, we marked the point. Here it is the distance 50 and we call it as F1, the focus. Now, divide this CF1 into 3 plus 2, 5 parts, right? 5 parts and mark the 5 points here. From F1, you take the third point and mark it as V or the vertex, right? Why? V of 1 divided by Vc is equal to 3 by 2. That is the definition of your eccentricity. That's why we take in the third point from F1 here as V. At V, draw a vertical and V of 1 as radius, draw an arc that intersects here at a point. Right? Join this point with C and extend. Now we got a line. Take some points here beyond V on this axis at some points right, of your choice. Take a point here, draw a vertical and this point we call it as 1. This is intersecting this line at 1 dash, call it as 1 dash. right? So extend this also in the bottom. Take another point here, 2, draw a perpendicular. This intersects here at 2 dash, 3 here, 3, 3 dash, 4 here, and 4 dash. Likewise, we get number of points here. 1, 1 dash as radius, F1 as center. Cut this line passing through 1, 1 dash only. Right? With 1, 1 dash as radius, F1 as a center, draw an arc intersecting this line here at some point P1. Similarly, with the same radius, draw an arc here in the bottom, you get P2 dash. Okay? P1 dash correspondingly. Follow the same procedure for other two points, other points, 2, 2 dash as radius, F1 as center, intersect this line only. Right? You get a point here. P2. In the bottom, P2 dash. Likewise, continue for all other points. 3, 3 dash as radius, F1 as center, here one go point, P3, P3 dash here, with the 4, 4 dash as a center radius, F1 as center, mark here, you get P4. In the bottom, P4 dash. Likewise, we get a number of points. Now, why do we need all these points? Because we are going to draw a smooth freehand curve, we should be able to draw it smoothly and freely, easily. So, take as many number of points as possible. Now, once you get all these points, join them by a smooth freehand curve like this. You get the curve. This is the hyperbola. It is an open curve, right? And this is the when you are given the eccentricity, this is the way of drawing. Now, suppose you have drawn the curve and we want to mark the tangent and normal at some point. Some point we have taken, say P. Join this point with F1. At F1, draw a perpendicular line here onto the directrix. This intersects here at some point. Join this point with the given point here. This is the required tangent. Draw a perpendicular to this line. That will be the normal. Like this, we draw the 
tangent and normal to the curve. Okay. Hope you had understood this topic and uh, let us see the construction of hyperbola with the other methods in the next videos. If you have any queries or suggestions, please do comment. Thank you.